everyone and welcome to the clan of the picture cave where I put pictures to some of the words and phrases in my favorite book series. Welcome to this first video which will be covering some terms that were used in chapter one. This is part one of a video uh, series which is just two videos that's going to cover some uh, words and phrases, like I said, that were used. Um, the first term that I want to go over is lean-to shelter, which when I was a young girl, about 12 or 13, when I first read this, I didn't quite know what this referred to. So I found this picture, which is close to what I envisioned in my mind, um, because if we recall, they were near a river, when um, Ayla was playing with, with some river rocks. And so I kind of imagine the lean-to looking like this, except of course, remember it was a hide-covered lean-to. So um, I wasn't able to find one that was hide-covered, but um, if you wait for it, some really cool animation is going to now cover this with a hide. So here we go, here's some, some really cool animation. There you go, wasn't that awesome? Um, so uh, this is a hide covered lean-to now. Um, if you missed it the first time, here's here it goes. See, there, there it is. See, here, here it is in slow mo. Really cool, okay, okay, let me get rid of it. Uh, sorry, there it is again. Okay, no, really, let's get rid of it. Okay, so um, <laughs> the height covered lead to shelter, and you can imagine, um, you know, Ayla's mom in there. I, I won't animate her in there, don't worry, um, because, you know, she's a mysterious figure. We don't know what she looks like, so, of course, I won't try to imagine um, that into being um, but yeah and then other types of lean-tos that we can imagine maybe are maybe something that looks like this or even something that looks like this and um, if your eye is going towards the center that's actually a bit over the fire it's really um, here where um, the the trees are kind of been cut and um, are leaning up against these two trees right here. So the, you can imagine that some very large leaves or a hide of some sort um, would be covering the top there. So in any way, that would be the hide covered lean to. Okay, and here we have a picture of some lovely grassy steps. So when I first read this, I didn't know what steps were, and so I was very grateful that um, our wonderful author put <laughs> grassy in there to describe what what we were, you know, reading and imagining. And so, um, you know, I was able to imagine this large field of just endless grass. And then, of course, later imagining horses and, um, of course, you know, not these kinds of horses, but um, their ancestors. And um, yes, so this is this is what it would have potentially looked like or something like this. And then lastly, we have for this video conifers and the boreal forest. So um, in terms of this term, we're just referring to cone-bearing plants. And so we can typically think of maybe pines, like as in this tree right here, or firs, cedars, junipers, cypresses, redwood, redwoods, excuse me, spruces, or my favorite, yews, or at least I just like to say the word yews, I don't know why. Um, or, you know, just your typical trees that you would see around the holidays, um, around Christmas or what have you here in America and in, in, in other countries, as I would imagine. But, um, but yeah, you know, typical sort of pine trees that bear uh, pine cones and, and other types of cones, uh, if you will. So hence the word there. Um, and then when I try to imagine that boreal forest that Ayla spent those first 
few days uh, wandering, I picture something like this, which, you know, to us as adults may seem sort of ethereal, but as we can imagine for a young child of her age is really kind of, you know, spooky <laughs> and fearsome. Um, and then I also imagine it looking something like this along, you know, with a river, um, that like, kind of like the river that she was following, uh, in the, in the book. So those are some images that I was able to find to, to go with some of the terms that I was unfamiliar with in the book. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching and if there are any terms in those pages that I missed that you would like me to find some pictures for, please let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching as I said and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care!